Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this number 84 Easy Lube Spindle. This is going to be a great option to replace a worn out or damaged Easy Lube Spindle on your trailer, or if you are customizing your axle, this will do a great job for you as well. The Easy Lube portion is here on the end. This is our integrated grease zerk that's going to keep your bearings greased. Um, it's very easy to attach to being at the end of the spindle there and so you don't have to uh, pull them out and uh, manually do it as frequently. Uh, this does also have the mounting flange here. It's going to allow you to mount your brake assembly, just simple bolt-on installation. Uh, the bolt holes are pre-drilled for you already. As far as the spindle itself, it is going to be a weld-on installation. Uh, you can see that we do have a quarter-inch collar here, uh, so you will need a little bit of a welding know-how to make sure that uh, you get that precision weld done well. Uh, our overall stub diameter is right about two and a half inches as you can see there uh, so make sure that that's going to work for you but this is a sturdy steel construction so it should weld nicely for you and hold up do a good job for a long time to come. This does have a 1,750 pound spindle capacity uh, so if you have a spindle on each side you double that and it gets you up to your 3500 pound uh, trailer axle capacity so it's going to be great for those 3500 pound trailer axles our overall length of our spindle it's kind of hard to show you when i measure it i get it right about six and a half inches uh, from the top of our easy lube here down to our base. It's right about six and a half inches to my measurement. Um, some of our other contributors have said it's closer to six inches and 11 30 seconds of an inch. As the uh, bolt holes go, there are the four bolt holes, uh, so you want to make sure that your brake assembly is compatible with those four uh, holes there. Now as far as our bearings, our race, and our seal information goes, uh, none of those are included with the spindle, but you can see all the relevant information on the screen there. You can see uh, because this is a tapered spindle, you are going to have a larger inner bearing. Uh, it's going to have an inner diameter of 1.378 inches, and our outer bearing is going to have an inner diameter of one point. 063 inches. You can find all those parts here at eTrailer.com. Um, so if you don't already have them, if you are um, building your own axle rather than replacing and you need some of those components, we do have them available here at eTrailer.com. Overall, I think this is going to be a great option uh, for your 3,500 pound trailer axles. Very easy to uh, keep everything lubricated get your brake assembly mounted in place and everything. So the, the biggest thing for me would probably be getting it welded in place. Uh, some of the other spindles are just a solid portion there, so it's uh, easier in theory to get it welded on. And this is gonna take a little bit more precision. Precision, So you wanna make sure that you are uh, confident with that or uh, take it to someone who is. So that's gonna complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.